Welcome back to the Shopify Migration Hub. Today, you will be learning about how products work in Shopify. We will start by taking a look at the Shopify admin and creating some example products there. This will help you understand how our system uses product data, which will help you make better decisions when deciding how to bring your products over from another system. Then we will take a look at how spreadsheet files and CSVs can be used to add products into Shopify. In this video, we will not be covering the full solution on how to import your CSV data. However, you will learn enough information about how CSVs can get involved with the product creation so that you can decide whether or not using CSV files at all is the best choice for your business. If you decide that taking the CSV route is the right decision for you after watching this video, you will see more content on data transformation and composing your spreadsheet files using our templates in future videos. For now, let's jump into the Shopify admin. This is the home screen of your Shopify admin. To take a look at your products, visit the products link in the left hand menu. This page will show you any products that you've already added in Shopify. If you haven't added any products yet, you'll see a screen similar to the one that you're looking at now. Let's go ahead and add our first product together. Clicking on the add product button will take you to the product module. On this page, you can add any information that you have on your new product. And after you hit save, the system will create that product in your catalog for you. Before you hit save, you'll want to add any important info such as the title, price, and description of your product. Let's go ahead and create a quick product together now. For this example, I won't be filling out all of the fields that you're seeing on the page here. I'll just be filling out the essential fields so that you can get a sense of how it works. Let's start with the title. I'll continue by adding a quick description. I'll scroll down to add a price for this item. I'll add a quick SKU number. And finally, before we hit save, I'm going to scroll down to the variants section to add options for this product, such as size and color. And then I'll hit save. And it's as simple as that. I've now just added my first product through the Shopify admin using the product interface. If I go back to the product section on the left hand side menu, you'll see that the new product that I just added is added to that list where our catalog will show. If you want to continue using the same method to add more products, you can visit the product module again by visiting add product in the top right hand corner. This is a great option for anyone who cannot export a CSV with product data from your old system, or if you have a small catalog and you would prefer to use the admin to add products instead of using a CSV. While this option is user friendly and very easy to use, it may be slower to do it this way for anyone who has product data ready to use in a CSV format. With that in mind, let's take a quick look at how CSVs can help us create products in the Shopify admin. At the top of the products page, there is the import button. This button can be used to upload a CSV file and that CSV file needs to be formatted in the Shopify template before being uploaded. To take a look at how the Shopify product CSV template looks like, there are a few options. Since we have already added a product using the Shopify admin, we can choose to export that example product as a CSV and learn more about the formatting that way. I can do this by using the export button instead and using the options there. Now let's take a look at this file. Here is the exported CSV file showing the example t-shirt that we created in admin. All of the data provided in admin is now seen in CSV format under the correct headers. 
All products added to Shopify via CSV must be formatted in this way. You cannot change or rearrange the headers that you see in the first row. To learn more about these headers, the columns and the descriptions, we can go back to admin to find a great resource for this. To find this resource, visit your products page again, but this time, let's use the import button. On this window, you'll see a link to grab a sample CSV template, and this link will take you to our help center. On this help center page, you can scroll down to find a description and a list of data requirements for each column header. As a note, the next Migration Hub videos will teach you which template and which fields you should be using based on your data assessment. So if you're thinking about using CSVs for your product migration, please view the next video before diving into each of these field descriptions on your own. This will help you avoid doing more work than needed. That's all we have for you in this video. If you've decided that a CSV file migration is the right decision for you, please check out the content below this video to find your next steps. I'll see you next time.